Hey guys, King D Sky here coming at you with another video now. One Piece Chapter 921 has released, and boy is it fascinating. Before I get into that, I just want to apologize for the not uploading videos so often anymore. You know, I got school, I got stuff to worry about. So I'm probably going to upload two to three videos today just to make up for all the things I haven't uploaded in a while. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Um, so the chapter's called Shin Tomorrow. Now, I don't know what the cover page is from the website I got it off from. I may have missed one or two things, but I'm about to give you an overview of what the chapter means in it. Well, you guys are in for a treat today. So, we're still at Odin Castle, you know, can I mind and come here playing the raid on Onigashima, so like, you know, what the roles, what they're gonna do there, and how they're gonna, like, take down Kaido and stuff. Uh, so Orochi, obviously the Shogun of Wano and the hundred King Beast Pi um, the King Beast Pirates will be there. Obviously, you know they'll be getting drunk and having food and having a blast there is what they predict. You know, uh, and um, and Kanaiman has comrades throughout Wano country, so they're he's trying to get to them. You know, with the time and the place, he wrote the symbol on a card for the Straw Hats and the Law to pass out. And his comrades named were. Uh, hang on, let me see if I can find this. Here we go. Um, they were to find um, Kawamatsu, Dijiro, and Boy Ashura. And they served with Odin, so. Boy Ashura. I wonder if he is related to Zoro's Ash, like. It's one of Zoro's swords, because Zoro named one of his moves Ashra, Ashura, Demon Ashura. So I wonder if that ties in with anything. That'd be really, really interesting if it did. So, so Zoro, Zoro, Joro, and Usohachi are taking action in the capitals. That's where they're supposed to be. Of course, we know Zoro's lost, so that just, that's just not going well. So they don't get lost on Onigashima. Frankie is having the blueprints to Kaido's mansion, so he's basically having like a blueprint of the whole area so they don't get lost so they know where they're going. So Frankie's in control of that. Uh, uh, um, to track o Orochi's group, you know, the Shogun's group, o Orabi, or Robin, became a Gashia. She's, they're basically like a Japanese hostess to entertain men, so they're just to entertain men. That's what I... Gisha is. I'm just dancing. Singing. Um, so she's supposed to keep track of them. But she also wants to get a Panelia gift, so I wonder when that comes into play. And she wants to get the Panelia gift from Kaido, so maybe like Kai so maybe Kaido will like order her to go there to his mansion or something. Brooks jobs to get out of the food in the capital. I don't know why can I mind doing all this, so he has something in mind. Nami's weather Weather powers, no weather tempo. She could be um, a Kunoichi, and that's just a female ninja. So, because she can do her Mirage Temple, that's kind of like a ninjutsu move. Like, I know it's weather related, but she can just do Mirage, like Mirage Temple, she multiplies herself. It's kind of like you know, Shadow Jitsu, what Naruto uses. It's just kind of different. It's just weather instead of like chakra. Just had to bring Naruto up in this one because we're getting all Naruto, all getting a Samurai Jack and One Piece right now. So just had to bring that up. So um, yeah, and Sanji will obviously cook all the food for the people in the chapter. So just keep it. Oh, see, I'm reading off the paper. You know, just bear with me. So yeah, so Sanji will cook to lure the people all around Wano to that Onigashima. Keep in mind, Onigashima is a little bit away from Wano, but it isn't, like, not part of Wano, like, here's Wano, here's, like, Onagashima's, like, right here, here's Wano, like, something like that. So, Karen and Chopper will assist Okiko in meaning Inurashi, so Okiko is Kenaiman's wife. So, you know, they'll assist in getting Inurashi and all of them. I don't know about Nukamashi. I don't know what cat, when Cat Viper's gonna get into this or the Cat um, Guardian things. So can I find a little sister Shinibo arrives? Well, supposedly little sister Shinibo arrives. She's summoned. Can I mind wants to uh, uh, to find? Yeah, he wants to find his comrades. Like I've said earlier in this video, 
Man, this is turning out to be a really short video. I didn't expect it to be this short, but after that, so we cut back to Leftover Town. Now, what do you think happens? Mountain bandits arrive and they steal all the food. Oh my god, can those poor people just have their food and not be hungry for like a day? Like, good lord. Good lord. No. So mountain bands are stealing leftover town's food supply. The leader is Shu Tamaru, which is the chapter's name. Keep in mind, when you read this chapter, he looks weak, but he's not. I'm about to explain why. So after that, he's about to kill Granny, because Granny was like, Odin and um, the Red Sheaths will get Orochi. He's like, oh, yeah, 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 shut up. And then Jack arrives, and, and, and like he's like, oh, this guy's going to get wrecked. But no, no, no. This, this big guy, he takes his sword and just slides his jacket across the freaking neck. Alright? This guy is not weak. He looks weak, but he's not. That, that's, that's interesting, because um, Ichiro usually makes, like, big guys really weak. Like, for example, like, I think his name's Carlos from the Celestial Dragons. He's big, he's, like, he looks tough, but he is, and he just looks, just, he just did that to him. But this guy's not weak, he's a samurai. So they start fighting. You know, Jack was like, "Yeah, he's like, why you little?" Like it didn't, like it hurt Jack, but it didn't like, it's like God, it hurt you little. And then he got out his sword, and started fighting. So they were fighting, they were clashing swords, battle and stuff. But as soon as they were fighting, and like you know, the mountain bandits leader, like Shin, they were commenting, like, "Oh no, you got Jack! No, Jack!" Like the, you know, like the. The people surrounding them, you know, like that. And then the sky starts to turn gray. Yeah, something's not right here. So let's 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 investigate that. So they start uh, they start fighting, like I've said. The dragon appears and commands Jack to bring to bring brats to him. Or the straw hats. Now who do you think that dragon in the sky is? Take a moment to think, if he's commanding Jack, he's a dragon, he appears in the sky, the sky is gray, who do you think that is? That's right. Kaido is a freaking dragon. A dragon-beast hybrid. It's confirmed he ate some something related to a dragon-dragon fruit. I want to call it the artificial dragon-dragon fruit. He's either a mythical or artificial. I'm trying to think, like... I'll decide on the video if, he, if that's like a mystical zone or not. But dra Kaido is a dragon. That, that, whenever I first saw this, I was like, that is so cool. So now we know Kaido's a dragon. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, well, he's a dragon beast, you know. So Kaido, it's official. Kaido does have a double fruit. And so that's really interesting. So, um... And of course, Luffy and Law and all of them see the gray sky, and they also see Kaido. And when Law first sees, he's like, "Oh no, this isn't good." And he tells Straw Hat to look. And he said, "Like Straw Hat's like, who the heck is that?" And Law's like, "That's Kaido." And this chapter just got interesting, man. So stuff to talk about. Like we're like, it's like it's, this is not even funny. Like. Kaido's already there. Jack's on the... We have no idea where Zoro is. Stuff is getting hectic right now. So what about the plan on Onigashima? Now Kaido knows that they're there. Now the plan isn't going to be executed. Unless they hide or something. Like, I kind of predicted this in an older video I did that got deleted. That Kaido would go, go to the city to try to find them. And my prediction was right. I did say that, and he did. Jack's like... Sir, why are you here? Kaido's mad. He's mad. So someone reported something to Kaido. I don't know if it was Orochi, if it was Hawkins, maybe. Jack, Jack seemed surprised, so Jack didn't report anything to Kaido. Someone reported something to him. I'm thinking it's either Hawkins or Speed. I remember, Speed's with Otama, but... I feel like Speed was just playing that through. She purported something to Kaido. I know she did. 
I want to see Otama again. I kind of missed her. You know, she could be an important character in this arc. And that's about it. Also, one more thing. Uh, no, I didn't miss anything, so scratch that. So I hope you enjoyed this chapter review. You know, like, a lot of, like, a lot of stuff didn't happen in this chapter, but enough stuff happened. Like, enough happened in this chapter to, like, make you want to go read it. Like, this chapter was really epic. So, like, now we know, like, Kaido's powers, and, like, you know, now that we know he's a dragon, like, when does that power come into play? So I am so excited for 922. I hope we do not take another break. I hope Ichiro Oda comes out with a chapter next week. King Bisaito signing out. And remember to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button.